Welcome back to some Cosmic Express. I'm Dear Darling and Audible. We're back to the part where we've been bested once again by Andromeda 14. You know, I had a little bit of a break, only, uh, only a couple of minutes. And, you know, I was a little bit negative, you know, saying I feel like I made no progress. I feel like I have made some progress because I did try out some more interesting, different ideas, which at least I feel like maybe there's a spark or something in there. Because before, I was just trying the same thing over and over again. But trying, like, those different, like styles i feel like probably there's something in that i just haven't unlocked its potential yet um i don't even remember this level i'm gonna be honest um but we have two contain two containers probably what we're doing is picking up a green and an orange is my guess it, we obviously cannot pick up two greens and probably i don't think we can make picking up two oranges work because this is a very difficult one to deliver to i feel like i vaguely remember that where i was just like this is an incredibly difficult thing to deliver to where we had to do something like that I and mean, I don't even know how we delivered to the other one so I guess we wasn't it something like this so wait hold on what if we did that that delivers a green we pick up an orange deliver that orange pick up another orange pick up a green deliver that orange um we just got to figure out a way in basically not one fell swoop, but one kind of swoop to be able to pick up all the oranges. It's easier said than done. So pick up an orange. Pick up a green. Pick up that orange. Oh, I remember the problem now. Is that once you figure out how to do this, is now like, how do I deliver the greens? <laughs> um, and the answer is you don't. Obviously, that's not the answer, but I mean, this, this is an interesting concept, at least. I feel like it's kind of similar though, to what I did before. Actually, that's not too bad. We only missed one green. Hmm. So I wonder if we can deliver one of the greens early. Like, what if we picked up you and delivered you and then we just did that? Hold on. Did I just solve it? I think I, I think I legit just solved it. Apparently, I have gotten a lot better at this game then. There we go. There's a the concept so to realise that we were very close, I think, to whatever concept we had before. <laughs> but we just needed to deliver one green early. It's a, it's a surprising amount of levels, which just boiled down to just like, if you just did this slightly earlier, then you would have got it. Oh, I, that wasn't even the lowest leveled Delphine one we haven't solved. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, I remember this one vaguely. <clears throat> okay, but we got a fresh start to it. So we, we've got two. Let's try and do something insane. Let's be like... Oh, I remember the concept of this one. It's basically we had to pass through here basically twice unless we're willing to do something like this. And then this. Which I think is unlikely. Although it is kind of interesting. Because imagine if we didn't do it like that, we did it like this, and then like we could actually go somewhere from here. We can't. But imagine if we could. The biggest problem I have with this is the fact that we can't deliver to this green one. Um, I, I feel like the biggest problem I remember is the fact that um, we're basically forced to to d do one delivery and come back. This doesn't matter. But we've picked up orange and green. But going this way picks up green and orange, which ruins the seating. So what we have to do is we have to either force orange into the second seat, which we... I don't really know how we do that. I remember the concept as well. Imagine there's a wall and we have six ways to get through. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we had to use all six ways, probably. And actually, what what I just noticed from there is that we, we have a very re redundant move of going back and forth just to deliver these two. Probably what we can do is we can um, use that to our advantage by changing the order we go through this invisible wall um, to change the order we pick things up in. I don't know exactly how, because the big problem is the fact we block ourselves off. Because if we go like this, we block ourselves off. So it'd be nice if we could do this and grab the orange. And it'd be nice if we can get out again. But we can't. Not like this. So there's no way this is the solution. Unless we can somehow make this work. No, I don't think that's going to work. Like it doesn't make sense to do anything... Okay, it's like, going down here first doesn't really do much, except for we can now go through this a different direction. Which means we can do something like this, which is not very useful. Let's 
I'm trying to think if picking up a green first even makes much of a difference. It doesn't really. This is the same sort of problem as doing this. It's basically, basically seeing as we can only pick up these two middle ones by passing here and here, we either pick them up in one fell sweep, which means we have to pick the outside ones out first, but that blocks out the other entrances, which makes me feel like that's not the solution. Or we had to pick them up in twos. Like, well, we had to pick one up. We had to be going the same direction both times we're picking these up. And it feels like this is such a redundant move because like we're not doing anything with this and coming back. Well, the only thing we're doing was move through the wall is we're coming back. We got so much space to work with. So it makes me feel like this can't be the solution. What if we don't commit to any other? Well, that doesn't make sense because we're not even dropping off a green here. Huh. But what if we did? No, because then we don't. The problem with doing stuff like this, the problem with doing these funky solutions. Is the fact we're, it's so easy to trap things off in this level, like to cut things off from each other. Well, I have not something I've not really thought about is why do we have a two wide gap here? Doesn't that kind of suggest we we do something and come back? I don't even know how that would work. Wait, we can never do something like this. This is just pointless. So, it, it really feels like this has to be our first move. But th there's nothing you can do from here except for like this. So it does make me feel like... But we, we can't come back, that's the thing. We, we've got such little space. We have just enough space to make me question why we don't have a one wide gap on that side, but not enough space to actually do anything with it. So what am I missing? The thing is, it's so hard to pick up these slimes. Because a naive solution wants us to do this. But maybe we can find a flaw, but not a flaw in this naive solution. Obviously, a naive solution flaw is it doesn't work. But maybe we can find like a crack a crack in the armor. Well if we just did something a different way round, it'd be okay. How'd this work? How, what what approach like imagine okay, the, the, the first half of a naive solution sorry, I'm, I'm leaning really far from my mic. Imagine the first half of a naive solution we have right now is correct. What can we do in the second half? Um, my feeling, my gut feeling is something that really this is the only correct, something along this line is correct, but it blocks us off. That, that's my biggest problem with this um, starting move is it blocks us off. But the thing is starting out going in this direction is really not helpful. It's just, it's too easy to cut things off in this level. Well, not too easy as in it's a bad thing. Obviously, that's kind of a point of a level, but it's so hard to think of anything. I think I'm also kind of cursed by the fact I do kind of remember me attempting this level pretty well. So it means that I'm trying the same things over and over again. When I'm really, I've got to try something wild and different, but it's really hard to see something wild and different apart from doing something like this. But this doesn't work. Because that gets cut off. So how do we ever deliver this? And the answer is you don't in this solution, which is not a very good answer, mind you. Because it also, because by and by, but we need the thing we need to keep in mind is if we do this like swooping up a side thing to collect it, we are still blocking off one of the channels. So that I'm convincing myself that's not the solution. We only have two channels through here, and if we block one off while doing the end thing, but that only accounts to us picking up one. Then it feels like we do have to pass through the two channels. So, but the only way it works by passing through this channel, this middle area twice to pick up aliens, is we have to pick it up from the same direction both times. That is hard. That is really difficult. I would almost argue it's impossible. But it's obviously not. Because this level has a solution. But it's really hard not to cut ourselves off. You didn't have to cut me off. 
and pretend that we were nothing. You didn't have to stoop so low. But now you're just somebody that I used to know. Somebody. There's just not enough room to do all of this fancy maneuver. That's, that's the thing which gets me about this level the most. Is there's not enough room to do fancy maneuvering. You might look like you have a lot of room. And it really does feel like we have so much room to work with. But because of this like narrow channel thing here. It really doesn't feel like we do. That's what's surprising me so much about the subversion of what this level is. How can they simultaneously give us so much room and then nothing to do with it? I knew would have thought through permutation wise I would have stumbled across the answer at some point. There's only so many things you can do in this level. I had to think, blocking off these channels, I, I must be approaching this wrong. There must be something we can do, except for just subscribe to these six channels that we have to go through. Right? There must be something else we can do, because there's only so many combinations of going through these six tunnels, and a lot of them are useless. Like, going through here does nothing, but it has now blocked off this channel from ever being accessed. So we can't go through here first. Going through here is okay, but then any any other movement except for going back up here again blocks off that other existing channel. And we can never block block off using a theory that it's the six channels method. That is that we, we can never block off both both of these tunnels, number three and four. So we can't go through there. Going through four feels insane. It's basically we're forced to go through three because anything else blocks off either channel four like if we don't go through channel three first anything else we do blocks off channel four eventually hmm now isn't this something interesting we got going on here That just didn't block off this channel. If we could just pick you up without blocking this off, then imagine. This doesn't even work now I think about it because this would slime both seats anyway. It's just so hard to imagine that we can do anything in this level. I cannot imagine that it wants us to just naively pick up through the first channel, through channel number three, but there's nothing else I can even think of to do. It's a crazy, but I can't believe I just solved that level randomly. How does it... This game is so weird sometimes. You know, you sometimes just solve levels. I feel like this level, I, I think I talked about it when we first did it, I feel like it's a bait level. Where it doesn't... It's trying to make you feel like, oh, you shouldn't pick up a green one immediately, but that's actually what it wants you to do. The problem with doing this is then we kind of block ourselves off. What if we did a green and orange one now? The, the tiebreaker is it goes to the right, doesn't it? It's not great. I kind of want you to go to the left. Don't make any sense that. Um What if we did something crazy like this? What if we did something crazy like What if we did something crazy like this? Seems a bit pointless seeing as we now no longer have this stuff to work with. Which one does that tie break to? Tie breaks to that one. Now isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting indeed? Audience? Dealings? Because I believe 
we might have just found ourselves a solution. Okay, so that one actually, we had to not use a back channel. We had to block off a back channel. That's an interesting solution. And it forced us to use a tie break that going, going to the right. Well, at least this solution I've done. I don't know if there are alternate solutions. but well, probably are. This solution I've done exploits the fact that the tie break jumps to the right. Hmm. It jumps to the right. Sorry. It sounded like it was going to be more to that sentence, but it wasn't. Um, interesting. Weird. Actually, yeah, very weird. The more I think about it. Uh, this can't be a solution because this now slimes the green one. Feels like it should be something like this. Okay, we need to grab green one at some point though. So what if we just deliver you? Then pick up you, pick up you, deliver you. What, what, what are we holding? Ah, I don't want to hold up another green. This picks up our orange. Actually, this probably picks up nothing, doesn't it? Because it contradicts the green. I wonder if that's going to be useful. Feels like though, this is a, the right time to pick up a green. A contaminated slot is the second slot. Which we probably exploit this way. Right? So we just need to pick up one more green somehow. Or we don't deliver that green yet. And deliver that green here. Oh, but then this green never gets delivered, right? Yeah, this green never gets delivered. Um, why did I want to do that again? Oh, it's because we need to force a green into the second seat. Which this doesn't allow. Or does it? No, the problem with this is we don't get to pick anything up. But the problem with this is now we contaminate that other seat. We need to be... Basically, we need to pass through here holding a green and an orange. Uh, that's quite difficult. Um, like it feels weird not using all the, the channels, but so this picks up an orange. That picks up a, that places an orange and green. I'll pick up a green, which we don't want. It's like I want to pick it up now, but I can't. At least I can't figure out how to. Okay, let's try doing something very different. I don't even know what we could do super differently. Like we we can never get rid of this green. In fact, this forces us to go down here, I think. But this is this means we can't pick up a lot of them, to be honest. It's a second green. Or we don't deliver the orange. How does that make sense? We can't not deliver the orange. What if we deliver two oranges over there? Or just... Or just held another orange. Not really for any particular reason, I suppose, but... What if we deliver an orange and then just held this other orange for ages? Uh, it does It does feel like you should be delivered here though. I think I'm just doing the same thing again, aren't I? What if... We did this? 
Well, the problem with this is now we can't we can't pick up both these oranges again, can we? We're in the same predicament. What if we picked up a green first? Is that possible? I don't think that's possible. It feels like the first move has to be something like this. That's pointless. I don't know why we do that. Or we could just do this. So what if we did this? No, we don't have enough room for the orange again. So what if we... What does this even do? This picks up an orange. Wait, wait, hold on. Slow motion. This picks up an orange. It drops off an orange. Pick up an orange. Pick up a green. Come back. Deliver a green. That green's still available, but we can't pick up that orange. We need to deliver this this orange somehow in the in between. So what if we did delivered you? And then did this, but then we can't deliver this green. We're just doing the same thing. Like, this is really close. It just doesn't deliver that green. And I'm pretty sure I just did the same variation of a solution. Like, five times in a row. Is there a way we can sneak out and deliver that green? It would have to be in this movement. Just this movement. Or the final. Oh, it could be the final thing. What if we ended up with two greens? Is that possible? The thing is, we ha this green is then becomes quite difficult to deliver. So I'm just kind of like, what if we... <sighs> Why is the same game so difficult? It feels like that has to be the start. I don't know what else could be the start. But doing this blocks so much of ourselves off. To deliver that green, we okay. Imagine there's a the wall specifically in between the orange and green. To deliver this green, we have to pass through that wall at some point and come back. We've only we can only pass through this wall four times, so we must have delivered it within the first two, because we cannot go out and come back again. Intro here, one, two, three, four. We can only pass through three, so we have to block off one of the holes, which makes me think like we block off a first hole like this, and we're forced to go free. And then we now know. We are forced to go through and come back again. We have to have delivered that. So if this is a correct solution, these moves are forced. So it makes me want to deliver you here. But I don't know how to do that. I don't know. I just don't know what went wrong. I don't know, do, do we have to stop doing it? Oh, why is this so difficult? Uh, <laughs> oh well. Progress is progress, even if progress is slow. You know, in the, the session, I might record another episode because I still need to, but um, we still still solved two out of five, which, you know, is progress, even if it's slow. So for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Cosmic Express. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.